So once you've printed out the double-sided um, paper model here, um, you can begin by cutting along the dotted lines. Um, and these interrupted dotted lines um, is where you fold along. So I'm going to cut that now. So here's an external oblique, um, apionorosis, and I'm going to begin here by folding up the inguinal ligament. And you see the inguinal ligament runs between the anterior superior iliac spine to the pubic tubercle. And here I'm going to reflect, fold this back to reflect the ligament, which is the lacuna ligament here. And as you can see here, it covers the medial portion here. If you remember the mnemonic, it, it uh, helps form the floor of the inguinal canal, the inferior border. So we're obviously working from our outward in, superficial to deep. So after the external oblique, there is internal oblique. And what happens with the internal oblique here is um, the fibers towards the, towards the medial side reflect down and attach to the inguinal ligament here like that. So I'm just going to get a piece of blue tack and attach it to the inguinal ligament. Yeah. And as you can see, the reflected fibers here of the internal oblique um, form the roof of the inguinal canal. And the most medial part um, of the of internal oblique, the internal oblique apineurosis, helps form the the more lateral part of the anterior wall. Now the next part is the transversus abdominis and once again the, um, the more medial fibers of the transversus abdominis reflect across and actually what happens is it joins with the fibers of the internal oblique to form the conjoint tendon here. So we'll get another piece of blue tack and just join that there to the conjo conjoint to form the conjoint tendon. And that's when it and that helps form the inguinal canal there, the roof as well. And the last uh, component of the inguinal canal, and that's its uh, the the deeper structure, and that's the transversalis fascia. And the deep ring is it goes it penetrates the transversalis fascia, so that's essentially um, your built inguinal canal, and you can pass a pen or a pencil through the deep ring, um, and as you can see through the inguinal canal, like that, and then out the superficial ring, like so. So that's how the structures get through all the layers to the uh, inguinal canal. And that's it. Thanks very much for watching.